Hey there! I didn't think I was going to get to do a video today because I have to rush out as soon as I'm done teaching my classes. But I had one kid that didn't book a spot, so I have a few minutes here that I can just pop something up really quick. Um, today is what I am saying is day number two on the diet. Oh, anyway, doesn't matter. Um, I'll figure out how I'm going to count them another time. But today was my first weigh-in after eating protocol um, and having a, a full time. Now, I want to tell you, not hungry at all yesterday. I know I only loaded for one day, um, and that's not recommended. But again, because I ate so much food the days leading up to it, I think that that, like, I, I was fine. <laughs> Um, but I was a little concerned, do I have enough drops in my system so that I'm not hungry? Because truly the drops make me not hungry. And um, yeah, I was fine all day. I really was. I got on the scale today and I lost 1.4 pounds. So I'm very excited about that. I, again, I know I started at the upper end of where I should be um, to begin with, but I did one day of loading. I didn't gain anything on that day of loading. And then on my first day on the protocol, I've lost 1.4 pounds. So um, I know that number's great and it may even be another good one tomorrow. And then I might start to kind of plateau a little bit about um, after that. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I'm just going to stick with the. I'm going to stick with the protocol. Stick with the program. Um, I had a taco, turkey, turkey taco, um, with. Okay, so I did a little bit of cheating because I added some. I didn't. I'm not doing 100% pure protocol, um, but I did a half of a very low carb um, tortilla. And so it was probably, I want to say it's 30 calories. Like it was almost nothing. And the carbs were like, it's like a net carb of six. So it might have been three net carbs uh, for the whole thing. So that's the only carbs I had for the day. So virtually nothing um, with the turkey meat and a whole bunch of lettuce on it. I need to go buy some tomatoes because um, that would make it extra special. I did put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on it, but where I got better from how I've been eating is that I would put like cheddar cheese and a whole bunch of it on there and I just put a spattering and it was mozzarella so it was low fat but I'm going to eventually wean that away especially as I start to see myself plateauing on this diet so that I can make it but at this point I'm, I'm, I'm capable of doing it and I'm clearly and seeing the numbers come down. I did also eat I have some egg salad that I've made in the refrigerator and I had a couple spoonfuls of that so maybe equivalent to one egg. Um, that's what I ate yesterday and uh, felt more than satisfied. I actually didn't need the egg salad. I, I should have just had the taco, but at any rate, I ate the egg salad first and then it wasn't enough for the day to have the one egg on day one of the protocol. So, but had I done the taco first, I know I wouldn't have needed to eat the egg salad later. So live and learn. Okay, um, so I mentioned plateau. And how I'm going to do some adjusting when I get to the point that I say I hit a plateau. Um, I'm going to repeat a section that I've done in the past. Um, and that is interruptions of weight loss. So today I'm just going to introduce and let you know what's coming up in the next few days on the videos I'm going to be doing. And they're all about interruptions in your weight loss while you're on the HCG diet and why that may be. Uh, and he has a bunch of different paragraphs. So today, let me just read to you quickly the couple sentences that introduces this section. It says, we distinguish four types of interruption in the regular daily loss. The first, the first is the one that has already been mentioned in which the weight stays stationary for a day or two. And this occurs particularly towards the end of the course in almost every case. All right, personal experience now. I'm gonna say that I find my plateaus not to be near the end of the course. They tend to be in the middle. They might have something to do with menstruation and Tom, which is a whole separate video, which I've done, but I might do some more of those again, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know, but like, I, and maybe, maybe I like aren't, maybe I'm not as good about the dieting at that point and then and like I, I I find myself slipping but not really aware that I'm slipping I don't know that could be 
How many times can I say? I don't know. All right, so the different topics are, first he talks about the plateau, and then there's a whole bunch on that, so I'm going to save that for another day. Um, reaching a former level, which is a very interesting topic. He doesn't say a whole lot about it, but I find it very interesting. So that'll be an interesting video to talk about again. Menstrual interruption. As I mentioned before, that can affect... Um, and then dietary errors, and he writes a lot about dietary errors, a lot. In fact, I'm going to break it down into different um, subgroupings because he wrote so much about it. Um, so dietary er errors I will introduce as one of the four different ways. I'll do a fourth video on that, and then I'll start doing subvideos of all of the dietary errors that people make on this diet and reasons why they hit plateaus. Okay. So those are the main reasons why you would hit a plateau. If you're just beginning as I am, you should be not be hitting any kind of plateau. This should be the time where the numbers look the best and the greatest as you're just starting off on the diet. Um, I'm doing the drops on the diet. So anytime in the protocol that it mentions one dose, two dose, three doses, it's because he's talking about injections um, of HCG and when you do the injections you do one injection a day so one dose would be equal to one day I want to clarify that from yesterday's video because I talked I was reading about doses and I realized I didn't clarify that so yeah um, when you're doing the drops it's different you take the drops three times a day so technically I'm having like three doses a day but it's equivalent to the one shot that you would get all right so that's it happy day number one 1.4 pounds lost I'm on my way 20 more days to go we can do this hang in there I'll see you again tomorrow bye